What's up, y'all? This is Martin Bats Bradford, and you're watching the Venom Vlog with my dude, Seek. And pronounce my man's name right before I unleash some carnage on that ass. See what I did that? <laughs> you can catch me being experimented on by the Life Foundation in Venom, which opens October 5th in all U.S. theaters. Rock with me, man. Let's go see that Venom, because I think that bit about to be raw. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today, it's Christmas in July, or at least that's what we're going to say it is. So that's the only way I can rationalize doing this storyline. Uh, so this week, we've been exploring a comic book or graphic novel called Venom, Along Came a Spider. And inside of it are a bunch of short stories and miniseries that came out in the 90s uh, near the end of his uh, you know, run and career in the 90s. Because you know, with Lethal Protector, that was the start of Venom on a monthly basis. And they instead of doing an ongoing series, they basically just did miniseries after miniseries, changing artists and writers along the way and so uh, what they did though was they put Venom in a lot of other stuff at the time including this Spider-Man holiday special from 1995 um, and uh, in here there's a short story written by Eric Fien and art by Javier Sotaris from Ghost Rider fame actually uh, you know old school Ghost Rider uh, but Danny Ketch Ghost Rider stuff so I thought that was awesome you know I'm, I'm such a fan of his artwork so uh, this is a really quick little story so we're not gonna have much to talk about here and there's not much to dive into it's just a fun little Christmas story um, and so, uh, so it's called the Venom Claws, like Santa Claus style. So not claws, but claws, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's like a Macy's poster here and everything. The artwork's fantastic. And basically you have this, this Santa, this guy like a mall Santa, who keeps getting beat up. And uh, these people are like, you know, robbing from him or taking from him. Uh, they get their jollies just kicking him around. He's an old man. And so Venom, you know, helps him up. He shows up as Venom. But then he quickly turns into Eddie Brock and he's like, hey, let me help you up, sir. And this is actually Eddie doing something nice, something heroic and actually nice uh, for the most like his version of heroics, obviously. But his heart's in the right place, definitely in this one. And he helps the Santa up and the Santa's like, yeah, OK, thanks for helping me out, young man. Um, you know, have a good night. I'm sorry. You know, it's just uh, a lot of bad things. We live in a bad I live in a bad part of town, whatever. So then, uh, <laughs> you know, he goes out and as he's coming around the corner, he sees you know, more guys that are there to kick his butt. And uh, so then he tries to defend himself. He gets beat up and uh, that causes Venom to intervene. So Venom comes over to the rescue of this Santa Claus and uh, and starts, you know, mopping the house with everybody and just taking down bad guys. And there's like this old lady that's like, you know, hey, please, you know, you don't have to kill him. You know, uh, you, where's your Christmas spirit? You know, whatever. <laughs> and uh, Eddie's like, uh, uh, okay, fine. I'll just, you know, web him up and, and whatever. And he goes, but uh, yeah, just remember that the Venom Claws came to town and, and helped all you guys. Uh, it's kind of a cheesy little story, but it's kind of fun. And he's like swinging away, singing at the end. It kind of has that, you know, sense of humor, that Venom sense of humor where he does things out of place, uh, but it's intentional for, you know, it's like the writer didn't do that, you know, on accident. They intended for him to be silly and weird, uh, but, uh, but, you know, the visuals help sell it. So the final image of the book, it says happy holidays and it's venom swinging off and he's like singing you know christmas carol um and he's got the santa hat on um after he beat up all the guys so that's it i mean it's a really quick story not much to sink our teeth into here um you know i, I love talking about all these little venom one shots and he's like little eight page stories but this one you know just didn't have much to it, it has great artwork um and it's just that's all it is it's just a little short story set during christmas where you know uh, venom helps out the locals in a way and it works. I don't know. I really dug it, and I think it's a fun storyline. And it's only, as far as I know, you can probably find... I'm sure this issue is available on Comixology, like the digital copy. Um, but uh, if it's not, I think the, if you want it in print, you know, besides looking at Mile High Comics or somewhere online or a back issue bin and being lucky to find it, it is in this graphic novel, Along Came a Spider. Um, it's just like smack in the middle of it, right after the hybrid story. So uh, yeah, it's about halfway through, right before I think Hunted starts up, which is the next episode we're going to talk about. So this one, don't have a lot to say. It's just a fun little story. I thought, hey, you know what? Christmas in July, uh, let's celebrate it before July is over and let's do it with a Christmas Venom storyline which is uh, just really easy really you know surface level storytelling uh, Eric Fine though I think did a good job of finding the heart of Eddie Brock in this one and showing that his heart is in the right place even if his teeth are not so anyway that's my thoughts on this let me know what you think down below what you think of the artwork what you think of the story let me know in the comments and we'll continue our conversation down there thanks so much for watching my show as always we got plenty more Venom stuff coming up from the Along Came a Spider graphic novel next episode we're going to talk about The Hunted then after that we have another hybrid story and then the day after that we're going to talk about The Hunger which out of all these stories is probably one of my favorites in the book next to the hybrid 
hybrid stuff. So stay tuned so you don't miss out. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the future. Peace.